Today, my creep tools, let's disassemble this Ryobi four inch battery operated fan. Because as you can see, the fan on the left barely is running and the fan on the right is actually a brand new fan and it's working just fine. So let's take this apart and see what's actually wrong with this. Now this specific fan actually got majorly abused. This was sitting on my nightstand for since I bought it and it was pretty much running 18 hours a day. So we would pretty much put like a four amp hour battery on there on speed two and we, the battery would just run until, until it's dead. At night, I do majorly require a fan on my face, at blowing for airflow, and I seriously sleep so much better with that. I'm pretty sure a lot of other people as well do that as well. And I, I just love an airflow. So I seriously wanna get this fan going because I'd rather have three of these fans than two. And if I can get this fan running again, this is gonna be designated to the garage. I do love using the Hilti 12 volt tools to take tools apart. All this was is held in by a couple of screws. I'm going to see if anything got lodged in between the fan blade and the motor and just to see why this is no longer running. But normally, if by taking the fans apart, just by doing this, this actually fixes the problem because you change the situation of the gyro. So this little plastic piece you got to take out and this is actually the cover for the wires that go to the motor. And it's actually pretty well designed in there. I, I do love the way that Ryobi did this fan. This fan is worth getting. If you guys see this fan at Home Depot or online, I'd pick it up because these sell out quick. And just by doing this, this actually fixes the fan blade because you're changing the situation of the gyro and this is all it takes most of the time. A little pull, a little really rotation, uh, like majorly pulling on it, see if anything is in there, they're gonna fall out. It was not necessary for me to take this back plate off. I just decided to do it just in case if there was a like a, a nut that I could just take the motor out because I seriously thought I would have to take the motor out of this. So I tried to take the motor out, but I did not want to destroy the fan because it was the motor was pretty well secured in there. So after inspecting the, the back plate, there's nothing in the back that actually I thought there were four screws that were covered by plastic but uh i was not able to get that out and yeah that's uh, that, there's pretty much nothing there i'm gonna do one last inspection before i put it back together putting this back together is very easy all you gotta do is make sure you put that plastic uh back where the wires are covered and that that's not hard at all and as you can see the fan is running it's it's not as powerful as the brand new fan but still the fan is running i'm so glad i got this fixed and like i said that's all it takes you guys there's a quick disassemble play with the fan the blade a little bit then you are good to go The fan works fine. Now this fan was the broken one. I have two other fans. I love these little mini Ryobi fans. They actually do the trick very well. They're portable. You can easily clip them onto a two x four or the, uh, the top of a desk. You can have this pointing at you at all times. I seriously love this fan. And when it comes to fans, I majorly abuse the crap out of these fans. I've always used fans my entire life to blow on me wherever I'm at because I prefer to have flowing air going on me at all times. Before I started the channel, all of our fans used to be corded. And so since I got into this channel and I started seeing that they actually have battery operated fans that are good and the battery lasts for a long time on a single charge, it's actually amazing. And I, this is my favorite fan that's ever made. So that's why I felt the need to get this going and uh, fix it. I'm not a fan of tossing a tool, you know, even though it's only $20 for this fan, I wanted to fix it and get it back running and it works. It only took a few minutes because most of the time when it comes to fans, it's not the motor, it's just the gyro of the fan blade. Because since it's out of line, it doesn't rotate like this and it just stops. And that's all it, that's all it needed for this to work. Uh, just to take it apart, play with the fan a little bit, wobble it, then put it back together, then it worked. Same thing with the air cannon, but with the air cannon, it was a little different. Even with the air cannon, this thing runs 24 seven. Summertime's the main time of the year where this gets a break because I bring it in here, run it all day, turn it off, and I don't bring it inside just cause laziness, lazy and tiredness kicks in a little bit. So I'm so glad that I, would fix, uh, that I was able to fix this because since this is, was running off of the hybrid, this messed up just like this did. It, it 
RPMs drastically went down on the Air Cannon and it eventually stopped working. So I took it apart and I've been running uh, it off of a battery ever since. And it sort of, it fixed itself. And that's what usually happens with, with these types of fans. And as you can see, I even did a video on this. Speed one, speed two, and speed three. So it runs perfectly. I was gonna get a new air, air cannon, but I'm like, let's take this apart. Let's see if I can fix it. And I did. So I hope this video motivates you guys to take these fans apart and just try to tinker with them yourselves and fix them because that's all I did in this video. Like, and it works. And it, as you saw in the beginning of the video, it stopped working. So I seriously love this fan. I, uh, I'd rather have three of these than two. So this one is designated for the garage now and it's gonna stay here. And I seriously love it. This clip goes in so many places other than two by fours. And I, I love it. I do. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.